So, uh, got the Jiffy Seed Starter, Jiffy Natural Organic Seed Starter, and then picked up our cabbage and our, uh, our Brussels sprouts for getting going and then actually gonna double the size of the bird feeder. It, uh, we had a bird feeder half the size and really competitive. 30 birds in there pushing each other off the roost and so we really want to try to uh, uh, and then we added this is going to double the size of it uh, really excited this is from Pennington it's the ultra cedar grand snack shack so we're going to give it Alaska test and see how it holds up the little brother to this is done wonderful so we'll move that and spread out the seed a little bit and uh, so Beautiful day here in Wasilla, Alaska. It's the happy gardener. And today we're getting our seed started. And so uh, just to show how easy it is, we went right to a local grocery store, picked up a seed starter kit and uh, it's really nice, the instructions are in three different languages. And uh, so we bought the accompanying soil that goes with this. Be careful when you're handling sharp knives and equipment. Not everybody has pro level skills like me, so be careful. And so we'll start Just get it down the middle to start with. This point is, is just gently filling in here. And this is where you really start to feel the garden and the, the coming out and the growth and the life. And so putting your hands in the soil, it's deeply, deeply healing, it's comforting, it's fun. And, uh, and over time we get to see the fruit of our labor, which 30 minutes a week in our garden. This is the no water, the no pesticide, the no weeding, the no spending time with OCD. You can do that with your seedlings and working on the smaller gardens. But the bigger garden where we're gonna go with our cabbages and our Brussels sprouts. And so anything in Alaska that grows on the ground or below the ground does really well. All right, so we got a, a layer started here. And uh, so at this point, so it's springtime in Alaska and uh, getting ready to plant. I took a uh, Brussels sprouts package and uh, I'll save that here and uh, I just put a little indentation. Um, might have been a little aggressive there, but looking at a quarter of an inch. And uh, so here are the seeds. And we'll put two to three in each little hole. And so we're working through this. This process can go pretty fast. Hope I didn't miss a row there. And I'm getting two to five seeds in each one of these little quarter inch cavities that I'm filling. It's a lot of seeds, so I'm putting in five to seven in each little. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed. These are Brussels sprouts. Okay. Oh, we'll just gently backfill. And it's just really nice to be having our hands in the dirt, getting our seedlings ready. I mean, it's like, look at this. We're just hand 
planting the food, the Brussels sprouts that we're going to eat here and the colors and the richness and the vitality of the food. So here we go. Now we're just coming across All right, bam. So from there, this is Brussels sprouts. And so you can get these things for five bucks at the local store. I mean, unless you're living in way out there, you know. So the ability for us to have our own food source, all right, so cabbage. This is a Danish ball head, late season type. And so let's see what we, oh, look at that. There's some varied colored, but we'll see. All right, I'm putting four to five in each little hole. Reminds me of third grade. Just getting going here. You could be a college kid, you could grow this, you could throw that. You could definitely, this was a $5.99 little tray. And I think the dirt was two or three bucks. $1.79 for the seeds. And if you didn't want to be growing cabbage and Brussels sprouts, you could easily just grow spinach, basil. So now I'm just filling in, back filling. I'm going to mark cabbage. Actually, I'm going to mark cabbage where the cabbage took off. All right, I can pop on my little solar panel heat, heat tray. Pretty cool stuff. Damn, I'm gonna need another set of hands. All right, you got it. 